Hi, my name is Dominique Leslie, and I live in San Francisco, California. I come to the class um, because public health is my major, and I'm very interested in the, uh, changing health disparities. Um, I chose a couple different songs. One is uh, my husband's Uncle Haley singing a traditional Palauan song. I lived in Palau in the far South Pacific with my husband. And those two of the images are from his clan's sacred site. Um, and uh, it's very uh, important to me how culture um, can both be a, uh, a, a way of holding the community's health together. Um, and it's very family, clan, traditional, everybody takes care of everybody else. Um, and they have socialized medicine there, all um, healthcare is free for citizens. Um, and uh, I chose uh, those two images, one of the spirit house and uh, the standing stone in his clan's sacred site. Um, and so the one video of his uncle Haley singing the traditional Palawan song, um, you can see there how life is like in Palau, very laid back and uh, low stress. And uh, that's something we're also going to talk about in class. Uh, about how um, toxic stress can be and I wanted to show that it's not like that everywhere in the world um, and I included a picture of myself I was at a very low point in my life having gone through chemotherapy and my self-esteem was at an all-time low and so I um, bought a corset at a local shop called Dark Gardens. It was very expensive and they were doing free photo shoots uh, with a professional and I did it and it definitely improved my self-esteem. Uh, and uh, helped me through that enough time. Um, the worst thing that's ever happened to me technology-wise is I was on the phone and I went to the bathroom and it fell in the toilet and died. Never take your phone to the bathroom. It's a warning. Um, if I was flying on a flight and I could only bring one book, it would be uh, what we call the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm a person who's over 20 years sober in recovery uh, from alcoholism and that book saved my life and it continues to. Um, Right now, I'm really excited about exploring um, not just how uh, uh, race is, uh, causes, uh, uh, you know, health disparities, but how the overarching uh, system of oppression called capitalism, um, you know, causes a lot if not all, of those health disparities. Um, and what doesn't excite me is we can't be in person. Um, it's just, this is going to be new for me, learning online. 
And um, so I'm hoping to make some new connections. Shout out to anybody in the class. Uh, I'm a very open-hearted, open-minded person, and I've worked in the public health field for 20 plus years, primarily as a counselor doing harm reduction, street-based outreach, uh, and uh, working with the homeless uh, in getting them housed. And uh, very much a housing first person. A lot of housing programs make their clients uh, go through, if they have alcohol problems, go through alcohol treatment first before they house them. And uh, I think housing is a right and it is impossible to live a healthy life if you don't have a place uh, over your head um, with electricity and hot water. Um, so I think that's about it. I have another conference to go to and uh, I hope to see you all in class.